got to have fun with it. You got to, you got to make a living somehow. I'm trying, still trying to pay off my eyes. I had LASIK done. You guys done that? LASIK, LASIK people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right up front. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's kind of scary, right? They don't, because they don't tell you everything up front. Or they didn't tell me, or I wasn't listening. One or the other. But I, all I knew was the, they made it sound easy, and somebody has to drop me off, pick me up a couple hours later, can't drive home. That's all I know. So I go in there thinking, we'll get this done in and out. First thing they do, they take out my contacts. Now I can't see, right? Then they dilate my eyes. Now I really can't see. Then they give me enough Vicodin to knock out a rhino. Now I don't care that I can't see. It's just me and one other guy in the office. I'm talking to him for like a half hour. It turns out he was a lamp. I didn't even care. I'm like, you're a really good listener. Oh, yeah. So I'm feeling good, right? And, and then the doctor comes in and uh, slides this little disclaimer across the desk of everything that might go wrong. I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of things you didn't mention till just now. May cause corneal ulcer? That doesn't sound good. Blindness? Wait, blindness? Like blindness, blindness? Hold on, hold on. You guys know what you're doing, right? Because that's the exact opposite of what I'm going for here. Like, I'm trying to see better, and that would be not at all. <laughs> like, I'm a comedian, but no one would come to my show if they had a sign something that says, hey, normally he's really funny, but if things go wrong, you may never laugh again. <laughs> That's a little over the top here. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it never happens. Well, it had to happen once, or you wouldn't have put it in there. <laughs> no, no, it's a standard agreement. Oh, standard. <laughs> Why does that work on us, Dan? Oh, so we're, we're, you're not just screwing me, we're screwing everybody, okay. I just don't want to be the only one going, then I went blind, but you guys know, right? You know, right? <laughs> so I got real indignant, you know, you ever, you ever get all worked up, like, I'm not just gonna sign this, I'm gonna I'm read it, I'm gonna read all of it. Uh, and I get about two paragraphs down, like, I don't understand a word of this. <laughs> How long do I have to pretend to read before I start signing? <laughs> And then I just cave in. I just can't wait to sign at this point. You ever, you, once you cave in, you can't sign it fast enough, right? It's like when you install software, you just give up. Agree, 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 agree. It could say anything. Transfer of all worldly assets. Agree, agree, it's standard. Agree, agree. Sometimes they even bust you. You didn't even scroll down. Whatever, scroll, agree, agree. Let's go, let's go. So I sign my life away, right? And then they take you in the little procedure room and he leans me back in the chair, he patches one eye closed, he props the other eye open with these four fish hooks. <laughs> now he's talking to me through a speaker from the next room. Now, look at the light. <laughs> well, what the heck else can I do? <laughs> and why are you hiding in the other room? <laughs> What's that about? What's about to happen here? <laughs> it's very important that you follow the light. <laughs> Dude, you had me at blindness. <laughs> I understand the gravity of the situation. You made it clear if something goes wrong, it's my bad. If I go blind, you still get to drive your Beamer and I'm in the back going, hoo Standard agreement. So I'm watching that light like a hawk, man, and it disappeared. Hello, no light. Hello, my eye is open, but no light is coming in. Is this blindness? <laughs> this feels like blindness. Marco. <laughs> Can I have my contacts back? <laughs> and then you smell something. Wait, wait is, is somebody cooking a cat in here? <laughs> Here's what he said. Oh, it's your cornea burning. It's standard. <laughs> I think that's why they strap you in, right? So you don't run out of the waiting room to warn the others, don't go in there. They burn your eyes and tell you it's standard. It's only standard because they do it to everybody. That's the only reason it's standard. It's people. LASIK is people. That was the expensive guy. Yeah. 
Good thing I didn't cheap out. You can get done for like 300 bucks a night at Crazy Eddie's Eye Hut. <laughs> They'll back the van right up your house and everything. Want new ice? Let's use thy prices. Two for one, an eye for an eye. <laughs> Cheapers, creepers, let us fix your peepers. <laughs> The FDA is shutting us down, but that means big savings to you. <laughs> Order by three o'clock, he'll come make ice cream for you. <laughs> <laughs>